This doesn't look good at all on camera. Hey yo internetters, welcome back to another pen spinning video and wow, that felt weird saying that since it's been a quite long time since I haven't posted a video. And the reason why I haven't been posting a video is because I took a very long break. I took a break from making videos, I took a break from pen spinning. I took a break from basically everything that I did except for, you know, the necessities like eating sleeping i don't know man i just took a break i was tired but now we're back so since it's been a while since i haven't pin spin i'm gonna ease my way in and take it slow and learn something that i should have learned a very long time ago and that is the fake double So to learn the fake double, you kind of got to know a couple of pin tricks before you attempt this. Uh, the first one is the thumb around and the second pin trick is the Neo Sonic. I do have the video of the Neo Sonic and maybe the thumb around, I don't remember, but I'll leave a link up here for you to click on so that you can check out those pin tricks. And with all that being said, let's just get right into learning the fake double. And so starting off learning the fake double, I didn't do anything too fancy. All I did was the thumb around pause slightly adjust the pin a little bit and then do the neo sonic and the reason why i did this was because i wanted to get the feel for how the fake double is and how potentially these two pin tricks can combine to do the fake double and so after about 15 minutes of practicing i thought i was pretty comfortable with it well i felt comfortable with it for sure and i was like you know what it's time for us to just boom try to do it all in one go and this is how it looked <laughs> So yeah, that was painful. Um, yeah, that, I don't think that's how a fake double was supposed to look like. And so the thing that I did, usually in cases like this, I go to YouTube and then I look at other pin spinners and see how they do the fake double. And basically, when I spent time watching it, um, kind of figured out how they did it. When I was practicing the fake double, I was doing the thumb around horizontally to start off. So basically. It was more like this, like a regular thumb around. But in the tutorial, it mentioned that you want to do the thumb around more vertically. So it will be like more like, like this. Where it goes ar vertically around your thumb like this versus going horizontally around your thumb. So after about an hour, I am able to learn how to do the fake double. During this practice, I kind of figured out a couple of things that helped me out in bettering my fake double. So when you're learning a new pin trick, I find that it's always important to know how to hold the pin, at least in my opinion it is. It helps me a lot. So I find that the closer you hold it, your finger or your middle finger to the center of gravity of the pin to try to do a thumb around, it's quite difficult. So the general position where I usually hold to do the thumb around is roughly about right here, especially when I'm doing the fake double. Um, and I could go up a little bit more, but that's kind of pushing it for me. So it's my sweet spot is like right here. And so from there, I would hold the pin like in this position and then I would tuck the pin into my thumb, right? It's like I'm tossing it over my thumb. Um, and that's how I generally do the thumb around into the Neo Sonic. For this second part, that really helps is just practice a lot. And the reason why is because of your timing, right? So when you're doing the thumb around, right? Um, there's a point where your pin will start to roll over your index finger. And generally, the pin will start rolling over your index finger if you manage to get the pin to have most of its weight over on this end. So basically your center of gravity has to be above your index finger and it'll roll around 
and as it rolling around you kind of got to move your middle finger out the way to catch it and then tilt it up and so after about two hours i'm basically able to do the fake double and yeah here are random clips of me doing the fake double And that's pretty much all I have for today. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you show it by hitting the like and subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and until next time.